Okay, good morning everybody. It is, it's Wednesday. Actually, update about work, like in the office. So my manager talked with our director and we are able to like kind of switch around the days that we work in office. So I think the only day that we can't change is going into the office on Wednesdays. But today I'm working from home because my manager told me to, because of issues that I was having in the office yesterday, like systems were going down, like stuff wasn't working. I don't know what it was because it was happening with everyone but a lot of us started to have issues where like Google suite of products weren't working like sheets Gmail then Slack went down, Teradata, like everything just started to go down. But when I got home yesterday, I had to log on and finish up some of the things that I needed to do and everything worked fine at home. So I don't know what was happening in the office yesterday, but whatever it is, hopefully it's resolved or they fix it because IT didn't know what was going on yesterday when we called them. And I rebooted and they're like, reboot, clear your cash, clear your cookies. Okay, y'all. Okay, we, we, we did all of that and it's still, it's still not working, but okay. I'm actually getting I worked until about seven o'clock last night so I, I'm starting late now at eight today because I worked so late yesterday so I need to actually okay so I got an email that one of my automated jobs failed it's saying that one of my tables already exists okay so this has to be related to the Teradata thing because typically at midnight any temporary tables that we have they drop I'm assuming because of the what they had to put in a fix for Teradata last night but I don't know when does it say this was completed they put in the fix because they had an emergency maintenance that they put in last night because of the issues that we were having with Teradata. And we got an email at 1 a.m. saying the maintenance was complete. I don't know if that, that, that might be why. Because they will drop automatically any temporary table, you have to recreate them every day. It's not something that I necessarily have to be like, oh, after you run this, drop this table. You can do that after it runs, but I typically don't drop my tables or have it set to drop the table um, in the code afterwards. Um, some Sometimes I do that but for the most part no. It appears that this table is still active so it did not refresh. The way that I have the code set up is that it's recreating the um, tables every day in order to grab new data because the table didn't drop automatically. It can't grab new data or it can't recreate the tables because the table is already there because it didn't drop. So I need to go in and drop all these tables. So I'm going to do that first. I need to get it to make sure I can get into Teradata. And then I also need to run some other code for something I was helping out with yesterday. So yeah. Okay. So this I cannot update. All right, so let me get started on that and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Hello, good morning everybody. Happy, it's Thursday, February 22nd. I need to write down my to-do list for today. I was, I took the day off yesterday, so I'm getting caught up. Like I responded to a few emails and Slack messages already this morning. But like just as far as like things that I need to get out and done today, I, I need to get out my report this morning since I didn't update it yesterday because I wasn't here. So I need to get that updated. And then also we have a call today where we're going to go over some performance results. And I've been doing, I've been analyzing some of the performance month to date for February because for a data analyst, like I will just say like depending on what your job is as a data analyst you may not necessarily be the one like actually analyzing performance if that makes sense like providing updates like I was in a, a role where I just did like the coding and the dashboard I didn't really give like readouts or updates or deep dive into actual performance results like I am on the team I'm, I'm on now so that's just something to keep in mind yeah you need to have the skill set and be able to do it but you may not necessarily again depending on your job and role be the one providing those updates or readouts 
for recommendations. You may just be the one actually providing the data and someone else is digging into the data, like, you know, doing data mining, finding issues, finding opportunities and that type of thing. So that's something that I'm doing a lot more on that since I've gotten in this on the sales team back in August. So one of the things that I've been looking at is trying to see, okay, because we've been having this in, like um, this initiative going on since January, where we're looking at performance for like heavily, they're heavily focused on specific metrics for the first quarter, and they're trying to improve performance in those metrics. So for one of the metrics, we see that like I did a five year, I had to go back and pull data and look at data for five years and see, okay, so bef like they wanted to see before COVID, how was this metric performing during COVID? And then currently. So when I looked at that data, we are nowhere near what performance was like pre-COVID. Definitely not where we were during COVID. Like COVID times, these particular sales metrics were like higher than normal, just based on the product that's being sold. So it was an anomaly. I'll just say that. But since then, like our, our, again, our performance isn't what it was pre-COVID either. But in the since fourth quarter, we have been improving. Like when we look year over year, so when I look January versus January 2024 versus January 2023, we're, we're still down. February 2024 versus February 2023, performance is still down. But when you look at the trend month over month for the past year, you can see since the fourth quarter going into June, like from I'll just say what, like September, October time frame, you, that's when you started to see performance trending up and definitely a bigger lift since it's been a metric we focused on in um, January and also in February. So we are seeing improvement. It's just not at the levels we were at previously. I've been looking into that. I also need to look into performance for another metric and look into it because like some of the employees that did well in this metric last month are not, I want to say when I looked at it, earlier this week, about 20% of the employees were hitting the same levels they were last month. So what is going on? You know, like February isn't over. We got like a week left, but still like what is going on? I believe that's something we'll discuss on today's call, but I, I haven't, the call is at what, 11? We just need to discuss like, okay, so, you know, for these employees, they did really well in January and February, month to date, not so much what's going on there. And I'm going to try between now and then and dig into the data a little bit more and get some additional insights based on what I'm seeing as far as performance goes, what's happening. So yeah. And then I don't know what I missed yesterday. So as people log on for the day, I can get caught up with them. Yeah, let me write down my to-do list and start working on these reports and I'll check in with you guys a bit later. just came so let's open my box quick. coasters this should be a coffee mug could have waited, if I had waited to make my coffee just a little bit longer I could have made it in this cute little mug Oh, and this is stuff I ordered from Jonathan Adler. The last thing I got is this duvet cover. Okay, I have to show you my coasters. You just, yes, oh, there's black. I don't know where this data is. Like, I don't know where this stuff is at. Hey, good morning. Oh no, I'm doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as my office days. She would come in the day I'm not in there. Like she's sitting in our area. How dare you? Oh, okay. 
yeah i'm trying to catch up from yesterday i tried to respond to like some of the um like the emails in our team mailbox and then also from the slack channel i was responding to some of those this morning when i got in because like people have like if they would just read like some of the stuff would be answered like if y'all just read through the slack channel like i mean a couple people have they're not paying attention so yeah that they were copied on it but even if they even if like that wasn't on there people don't read i like for one of them i said the lack of reading is annoying but the email said this but i'm telling you because there was an error okay you guys i'm about to get on my what is that okay sorry i don't know what's going on but i'm about to get on my third and hopefully final call for today my manager i, I think i talked to you guys about um doing like data analysts actually analyzing performance and results so my manager reached out to me earlier and asked that i look at performance for i think it was four different metrics for 2023 and see if we've actually been improving in that particular metric now mind you i need to go back historically and look and see if targets have changed because we sometimes will change targets on like like let's say one quarter we may be aiming for 100 percent attainment to this target another quarter it could be 110 percent attainment to target so that can change so i need to keep that in mind when i go back and actually look at performance and see okay we were driving uh, improvement in performance for these metrics throughout 2023 this was the actual target this is where we you know landed for that quarter month wherever but she just wants me to go back and look at 2023 now I wasn't in sales all of 2023 I joined this team in August so I'm having a hard time trying to find um like what the initiatives were so I need to do that but let me jump on this call. I'll check in with you guys a bit later. See, people don't, you, you're a manager. Stop it. Is my headset connected? Okay, you guys, so it is later in the day. I literally have less than an hour of work remaining and I am still on this hunt to try and find this data. So what I'm doing is I am trying to find out what sales initiatives we had during 2023 before I came to the team in August, because when I came in August, aware of like what was going on in like September, October, and you know the rest of q4 so because i was involved in those things but i wasn't involved in anything that happened january through july so i've been trying to go through and there have been so many changes in the company that it's kind of hard to even within like this team figure out what happened because this team is fairly new like so it's just been a nightmare trying to find out what initiatives were going on in 2020 like the first three quarters of 2023 i don't really know what the sales initiatives are so as i've been finding them i've been writing them down on like a sticky note because I don't need to focus on every sales initiative. There's only specific metrics from 2023 sales initiatives that I need to look at and see, okay, so we were focusing on this particular metric in Q1. At some other point in the year, did we also focus on this metric? And if so, we're wanting to do a comparison to see, my manager wants me to do a comparison to see, okay, so did we sustain performance? So we drove like, if we're trying to improve performance in this particular metric, did it stick? You know, like we may have, we went, let's say if you started off at, in a metric at 90%, our goal was to get you a 10% lift, let's say for example. So to get you close to 100%, right? So if we got you to 100% in Q1, when we came back again, maybe in Q3 or Q4 to try and drive the same metric, between that time, where were you? Did you sustain? over time, that performance at 100%. Because we got you there, did you stay there? Did you drop? Is that why we had to come back again and try and drive this metric again because performance wasn't sustained so that's what i need to look into but so I this is an example of what of something similar to what i did in tableau for this project so when we're looking at actual performance you can see that like there's a significant up and down change month over month and it's hard to kind of get the trend of whether or not performance is getting better or worse when you look at it so the, a good way to show the trend is to actually do what's called a moving average. So that's what I did in Tableau, this moving average. So you can kind of see in this example, the trend of profits actually going up in comparison when you do the month over month actual, you're seeing like significant 
increases and decreases in profits. But I need to know what we were actually driving and when we were actually driving. And the other layer to that, not just like the overarching performance, is looking at individual employee performance. Now, here's the hard thing. The, there's been a lot of um, not only changes within the business, but also how sales employees are compensated. That has also changed, which I can't go into detail, but there's been pay changes in the way that people earn money and get paid. So while I can look at performance and say, oh, this, well, no, I can't, I can't because the way they are, like their performance was tied a different way. I literally can't do what they want me to do. Not for Q1 at least, like, and from what I'm seeing this metric, we did it in Q1. The next time we did it was in Q4 and the way that it was structured is completely different. The way that it was calculated is completely different. So it's like comparing apples to oranges. Like there's, you just can't, like they're both fruit, but you, they're not the same. It's not the same thing. Like there's no, there's no way. Like all, all I can do is just look at the overall performance to see if that was sustained. But at the individual level, I can't, I can't compare that. They know why, but I can't compare it at the individual level because of these changes that have happened so all right well it is what it is like you can't like i can't make it happen so look i didn't make the changes so and then i'm downloading some data from one of the um dashboards that i um have for one of the was this q3 or q you know q4 initiatives we had so yeah so that's what i'm working on so i'm gonna wrap this video up or i'm gonna in here i'm gonna check in with you guys again tomorrow Bye.